Cellular jail also known as Kalapani is the most painful and worst jail ever made on earth by Britishes at an island which is fully covered by deep blue sea. The jail is especially made for the Indian freedom fighters. To be sent to the Andamans was considered to be living death and hence came to be known as Kalpani. Yeah. Freedom fighters deported to islands so that they can be isolated from their motherland. Among the prisoners were the leaders from the Gadar party, Baba Ban Singh, Baba Sahin Singh, Baba Gurmukh Singh and others from Lahore conspiracy case by Parmanand, Prithvi Singh Azad and others from Kolna conspiracy case from Oatakamund Dakoiti those who took part in the Rampa revolution in Andhra there are so many hundreds of patriots known and unknown who suffered for the motherland Year, 1857 Revolt Known as the First War for Independence Mutiny starts on 10, May, 1857 Revolution started by Mangal Pandey After Mangal Pandey hanged to death, the revolution did not stop It gathered momentum under Revolutionary leaders like Tadia Tov Nana Sahib, Rani Lakshmi Bai and other leading Indians. All revolutions claim death and bloodshed of many Indians. British did his best to suppress the revolution. The freedom fighters were men of fervor and indomitable spirit, and that bothered the government of India who decided to deport them to the Andamans or Kalapani. Thus started the Penal Settlement. Freedom fighters were treated worse than criminals. They were compelled to clear the land so that a prison might be built for themselves. Conditions were savage, subject to malaria, leeches, scorpions, and the most primitive of hazards. The prisoners were subjected to inhuman treatment and abusive commands. The food given to mutineers was barely enough for a man to alive. The food was saltless and tasteless. Instead of vegetables, they are served with boiled green grass and leaves. The prisoners never gave enough time to eat food properly. Yes, Gordon! The construction of the cellular jail was started in 1896 and ended in 1906. The dimensions of each cell was only 13 and a half feet by 7 and a half feet, and they were built in rows. Prisoners were given jobs like dry coconut shells throughout the day made the prisoners bleed and if they requested a change of jobs, they were given the more strenuous task of oil grinding. Each prisoner on an average had to grind about 30 pounds of coconut oil or 10 pounds of mustard oil. Prisoners were treated like animals, even substituting bullocks for oil grinding. And each inmate was entitled only to three earthen pots painted with tar, one for eating, another for drinking water, rainwater to be specific, and the third for calls of nature at night.